and it's just left like this still to this day. I have a feeling this is from the tornado that happened. I guarantee to the, till the, still to this day, this is all toxic water that the kids used to swim in. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to be here today in Pitcher, Oklahoma. Yes, America's deadliest, most toxic town in the country. I've driven from Dallas, Texas, uh, six hours to be here. I'm glad to be here today. Boy, I plan on spending about an hour here, going to kind of give you the backstory of Pitcher. It's definitely windy today. Uh, I do have to be careful. Apparently this place is still pretty toxic. When the wind is blowing, you'll see why. But anyway, we're in for a good one. Come along today, you're gonna join me going through this amazing modern day ghost town here in Pitcher, Oklahoma. Let's go. I know it's a little hard to see that, but the water tower. Welcome to Pitcher, home of the gorilla since 1918. All right, so just, uh, we were driving through the town. We came through that this road straight ahead. Um, I've seen other YouTubers here. I guess this is kind of a little, yeah, Pitcher card and memorial, home of the gorillas. So this is kind of the little memorial that they have here. One A football state champs, 1984. So obviously they're, the high school mascot was the gorilla. And obviously the high school is no longer shut down due to the toxins that were in the air. Just make a quick stop here and see what these say. The town that Jack built, okay. Hi, Jack. Pitcher card in schools, 1917 to 2009. Home of the gorillas. I don't know if the high school is still here. I'm gonna try and find it. I'm gonna try and kind of find anything that I could here. Oh, here we go, talking about the toxins. Here's the tornado. That happened, we'll, we'll get into that. We'll talk about that. It's pretty much what ruined the whole town right there. I think I saw this church coming in. And what is this one? Uh, downstream people, okay. Native Americans settled in this area, I'm guessing. Okay. Well, this is this is a cool first spot, but I really want to see like the abandoned towns and uh, I should say the abandoned homes, the abandoned buildings. Here's some of them straight ahead. Now I know most of the roads uh, you can't, a lot of the roads you can't go down. There's like still sinkholes around today. Um, so they block a lot of those roads off, but we're gonna just drive around the streets and stuff. Um, I don't know when I was there, I guess a year ago, maybe two years ago. I did a video in Centralia, Pennsylvania, the uh, modern day ghost town that's still burning after 60 years. And that's all we did. We kind of drove around the streets and see what we could see. There's definitely a lot more to see here in picture. So Let's hop in the car and go exploring. Before we hop back in the car, you could see what I mean. A lot of the roads are like this, where there's just a gate there and it's blocked off. But however, there is plenty of roads still open today. All right, so <laughs> everyone's gonna come along with us. And we're gonna do this together. I see some, uh, see if we can go down. Mm. No. Turn down uh, up here straight ahead. All right, I think, go up, pull over. I wonder if we can go down like this street. This is still a street. I remember reading a story 
about kids, uh, you know, back in the day, kids being kids used to play outside way before there was video games or phones, you know, to take up our time. But they would go swimming in a lot of uh, places just like this. Except the problem was all of this water and that was contaminated. Ooh, and those are the big chat piles up there. Once I get a better shot of one, we'll talk about that. But that's all toxic crap, still to this day. But yeah, they would, uh, man, I guarantee to the, till to, still to this day, this is all toxic water that the kids used to swim in. Anyway, I wanted to go because there's so many uh, abandoned homes over here. And it looks like, I don't know if I could get back there. As you can see, here's the road, right? Here's the road. And the road used to go this way. But obviously everything says keep out. I think there'll be more of these that we can get a better shot of, but... Look at that. These once upon a time were just people's homes. See, I already think this is way cooler than Centralia. Because I mean, Centralia was cool because it still has the active mine fires underneath. I'll leave a, if you want to watch that, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. But like everything was gone already. There wasn't any homes. All you saw was like the sidewalks. The only thing that was there still is the old church, but at least picture here, this has like <laughs> the full blown buildings and homes and stuff. Wow. It's almost like a whole mini town just evacuated. Now I could get a better shot, but as, I, as you can see, this was the road right here. And it used to go right there, and then they just kind of cut it off. I don't even know if there's any way I could get back there. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not hopping through that crap. No way. Especially up in Oklahoma. I guarantee there's snakes galore. It's probably too cold for them now, but here we go. Some better views. Everything says keep out. I actually did see a, a town marshal. I think it said marshal on the truck. A town marshal, a town police officer parked. Because, you know, there's a lot of people who come here. This is one of the most famous modern-day ghost towns in the country. Of course, I had to rock my Oklahoma Sooners hat for this video. Man, it is windy. Glad I have those... Uh, <laughs> microphones anyway in the year 1920 this town of pitcher had about 20,000 residents as of 2021 big goose egg zero and now we'll begin to tell you why real quick let's go through some stats and facts about the town of pitcher and how it got to be where it is today back in the day it was a major center for lead and zinc mining unrestricted toxic mining went on for decades nobody knew 1967 they start to see some issues sinkhole swallows up several of the homes almost 30 years later 1994 study found that 34 percent of the children had lead poisoning the town does a mandatory evacuation in 2006 a study showed 86 percent of the buildings were badly undermined and could collapse at any time may 2008 major EF4 tornado comes in, destroys 150 homes, pretty much destroys the town of Pitcher. September 2009, the city cuts ties to Pitcher officially. The population went from 1640 in 2000 to 20 people in 2010. January 2011, there's six homes and one business left. The owners refuse to leave at any price. By 2021, the population is zero. Even today, when the wind blows, it still carries the toxic material. All right, I don't know if I'll get any better shots of it, but you see that big sand-looking pile? So those are, those are called like chat piles. Those are from mining and stuff. And all throughout the town of Pitcher, there's just piles and piles and piles of them. But um, pretty much that is what caused 
the town of Pitcher to be no more because that stuff, when the wind blew kind of like it is now uh, and it gets in the air, it's very toxic. Um, that would blow. Kids would play with it like in the sand, like it's a, a sandbox or something. Like I kind of mentioned before, that would leak into the water and uh, pretty much makes everything toxic. So from what I understand, it's still toxic today. Um, it is windy, so there is a pretty good chance I'm breathing this in right now. So that's why I want to limit my time outside. But yeah, all these chat piles are still here today. All right, we found this back road that I think we can drive down. There's still like, gosh, there's still a truck and some flags there. What does it say? Neighbor watch. Oh, that's fine. We could just do the loop. I mean, we're staying on, we're staying on roads. It's not like we're gonna go. Okay. We'll get out when we go down that way. Look at this. Wow. Is that a fox? I think there's a fox. I think there's a fox that went right in there. You want to keep going? Look at this, just so deserted. How, how often do you see anything like this? Wow. Well, um, the sidewalks are still here a little bit too. You could, there you go, you can see the sidewalks down there. Oh, that house is like caving in. Man. Look at this. Wow, look how much this house has just caved in. And this just left like this still to this day. All right, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Oh, man, this looks like a, yeah. This is a whole parking, little parking lot right here. Pull your car up as we would right here. It's kind of weird that they like share a parking lot when these are all homes. Obviously I'm not going in anything. Everything says keep out and there's like town watch marshals that are kind of everywhere. So we'll just stay here. Oh, there's a, <laughs> I thought it was a ghost for a second. There's a door down there that just started opening by itself and nobody's walking out. Gosh, I guess I'll go down this way a little bit some of these houses. It's amazing that everything is just blown out. Like why? Look at that. I guess maybe they just, I don't know, put plywood up or something and people knocked it down. It's crazy. There's that water tower where we started. I think they need their grass cut a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is probably one of the coolest videos. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's a cool, if you think it's a cool video, let me know in the comments, but this is one of the coolest places I've ever been on my YouTube journeys right here. The abandoned pitcher, Oklahoma. Okay, look at this, perfect example. This is reminding me of Centralia right here. This is. A street ahead that just kind of leads to nowhere. Here's another look at the water tower. Picture gorillas. 
That says Pitcher Garden Public School. Like, that looks newer, too. But there's no way, like I said, um, as of 2021, the population's zero. Maybe this is, yeah, maybe, but obviously they still like Christmas stuff. a closer look at the ch those chat piles all toxic toxic mining dust pretty much in other words okay so y'all will think this is pretty funny we're driving around and i come across this uh um looks like just a dead gas station abandoned gas station and i was getting out of out of the car and my wife says just so you know that's kansas i was like what she said, yeah, right here, this road, this is like the border. So, I'm <laughs> oh, this is cool. I've never done this in my life before, but we're in Oklahoma right now. And then if we walk over this way, I could see the sign right up there. It says, welcome to Kansas. I've never been in Kansas before, but now I have. Wow. Okay, so back to the video. Old abandoned gas station. So a major tornado came and pretty much uh, whatever was left of the town killed it off. And uh, now I kind of, I'm guessing this is, you know, was either destroyed by the tornado or it just has been decaying over time and it's fallen. Oh, there's glass down there. Definitely don't need to go near that. I just wanted to come see that, that bench seat inside. That's pretty cool. Wow. Looks like we're not in Kansas anymore. Actually, it looks like we are in Kansas. So we're in Kansas. <laughs> and now we're in Oklahoma. And there's the uh, welcome to o Oklahoma sign. That is something. I never thought I would do that before in a video. <laughs> Be it in two states in one video. That's, that's pretty cool. Heading back to Oklahoma. All right, so we're trying to find the downtown area. And I know like, we're well, I mean, we're pretty much here. Um, a lot of the downtown was destroyed by the tornado. So we're just gonna find a place to kind of park and see if there's any abandoned, uh, like more abandoned buildings or homes we can see. Yeah, let's put down this little street. This is Okay, so pretty much straight ahead. This is the downtown. We're gonna try this little side road. Now, from what I understand, uh, you know, these are public roads. You can drive down them. Whatever the state of Oklahoma does not want you to go into is already blocked. So yeah, let's just keep going down, down this little street. I was saying before, this is very much like reminding me of Centralia. Centralia, Pennsylvania. Now we're in Pitcher, Oklahoma. We might have to turn around here. I wanted to get out of the car and just kind of take a minute to see this crossroads right here. This is pretty cool. This could be like the uh, Crossroads Demon 
tail. So check this out. Let me let me zoom out a little bit here. Do a full 360. So this is legit what an abandoned ghost town looks like. There's our car. It's a four-way crossroads. That's pretty darn cool. Wow. And there's more of those chat piles straight ahead. Scary stuff. Well, that's good to know. We are currently on Pitcher Street. The sun's currently going down, so it's playing a little game with the mic or with the camera. But, ooh, what we got up here? Looks like a little house that somebody may still live in. Well, I can't tell. It looks like it could be abandoned, but I, I don't know. Maybe somebody still lives there. Look how small these streets are now. What is kind of scary, and I had this feeling when I was walking around too, is like this stuff, like these these roads can can sinkhole like at any time, and you would never know. But it's uh, it is a possibility as we're driving around the town of Pitcher right now. Straight ahead, this is the main road. We're still on one of these back alley streets, and I wanted to stop here because uh man look at that once again just roads that go to nowhere i like to see the foundation of old homes this one's not much but this one over here that's across the street oh you see what i mean here this is what i was kind of talking about before if we zoom in see like we could drive down this road right that's right behind me but roads like this, they the state feels is more dangerous, so they'll throw up these no trespassing signs and they'll block access to the road. So that's what I was talking about. Okay, so this is why I wanted to stop here. I mean, I can't really uh, get a good view of it, but look at the what's left of this house. You could see like the chimney to your left there. Well, now center of your screen. That's what's left of this home. And supposedly everything around here, this was all destroyed by the massive EF4 tornado. But yeah, that's crazy. All right, so yeah, this whole side's blocked, no trespassing. I guess they feel this side is more dangerous than this side of the street. But we're making our way back. Here's the, this is kind of how you know, well, at least how I know where everything is with the pitcher water tower. I'd like to find the high school. Yeah, let's go on this side. Let's go down to the left here because we already explored that side, but we have not explored this side. Let's see, I don't know what this building used to be. It just says pitcher. Looks creepy as hell, doesn't it? Man. Ooh. I'll see if I could sneak through there. Of course, there's always graffiti inside. Let's see if I can get a little better look. Well, once upon a time, they did have caution tape up inside, but that has since been taken down.
Well, the town marshal has just, just drove by and he didn't stop. So I guess I'm okay. I'm not going inside. I'm sure they have people, because like I said, this is one of the most well-known in the country. So I'm sure they have a lot of people and YouTubers just like me who come out here. My wife's parked right there. So if he really didn't want me over here, I think he would have stopped. How cool is this? Man, I've been I've been a lot of places. I've definitely been to a lot of abandoned places on uh, my channel. If you like that kind of stuff, I actually do have a whole abandoned playlist. So go check that out. But this definitely makes one of the top, one of the coolest ones. Well, I found it. I didn't know if I would, but I found the old high school. Pitcher Carden High School. Obviously now this is all uh, chained off, blocked off. Highly private property, no trespassing, but man, that's the old high school, home of the gorillas. i zoom in a little bit for you. Pitcher Carden High School. Uh, now right up here there, I saw when we were driving past, there's an old baseball field we'll have to stop in and see. Guess that, that was probably the high school baseball team's field. I don't know if the football field would have been in the back, but at least I found it. I was ho I thought the building was still here. I couldn't remember though, but yep. The old high school still stands to this day. All right, we can't pull the car in because the road's blocked, but this used to be the old parking lot of uh, the baseball field. Pretty sure it's the, the high school baseball field, but they still have that there. There's not, there's really not much to see, so I'm not gonna go. Oh, there goes the marshal again. <laughs> yeah, so just an FYI, if anybody wants to come here, it's okay if you stay on the public roads because the town marshal just drove past this twice and he didn't even stop and say anything to me. So that's good to know. But anyway, old baseball field doesn't look like much of anything else. And in the distance, like I said, those old chat piles, highly toxic. Once again, back on Main Street, but I wanted to come see this building, right? This is right here on Main Street. Look at the old sidewalk. That's still here. Wow. I have a feeling this is from the tornado that happened. I have no idea what this was. Obviously this wasn't a home. It was somebody, probably a small business, but it's still here today. I mean, once again, it's the water tower. That's been my point of reference this whole <laughs> video, but look at, damn, that's pretty scary. I mean, I live in Texas. I know about tornadoes and they are nothing to take lightly, but I can't imagine. Whew. Now here's the back of that building, but I did see more houses this way. Gosh, wow, look how wrecked that tree looks right there. Let's see if I can sneak back this way a little bit. I think I'm on the Marshall's good side, so <laughs> gotta stay on that, but look at these. One day somebody's home and the next totally abandoned. A place I never thought I would be. What if I was walking down this creepy alleyway and Michael Myers or Jason just popped out from behind the bush there? <laughs> I know, I'm weird. Well, everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. This has been an absolute blast if you love like abandoned places especially like old ghost towns from the past like i do i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did because i i loved it being here we spent a good little more o over an hour being here and uh 
wanted to end it right by the pitcher water tower since it's been in so many parts of this video. But anyway, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you like this type of content, I have a whole abandoned playlist. Go check that out and I'll leave other videos you'll like here. here. And I'll see you on the next one.